Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I would like to explain to you uh, a new feature which is part of the document library web part on modern pages, which is called dynamic uh, list filtering. Um, the idea is actually, uh, like in the past, uh, to connect between two web parts. And uh, for instance, if I have a list which has um, uh, the regions, for instance, uh, south, north, east, and west, and I have a document uh, library which is called uh, contracts, and I also uh, added a column which actually uh, does a lookup to to this list. Then, if I choose on one of the values, then uh, I will only see the documents with the same value. This is uh, like an index. Yeah, uh, if I choose uh, several uh, values, it will show you me all of the documents. Um, what's called uh, one too many. Um, you'll see also in the breadcrumb uh, the values that I chose. So how do we do this? Okay, so if I edit the web part um, to add uh, a list like this, I just pre press the plus button and look for a list and then I can choose uh, the list I want. In this case it's the regions so it's just like this one so I'll delete it. Uh, how do I add a document library? Press the plus button. Uh, here is the document library. I can choose the document library. Uh, yeah, quite straightforward. Um, if I edit this web part, pressing the pencil or pen, I will have a new feature which is called dynamic filtering. Uh, usually it's turned off. If I turn it on, sorry, then uh, what I, I can define which column on this document library is actually the, the column I want to be uh, the index. Oh, that I want to filter. In this case, it's the area. And I need to specify the name or the, of the list in library that I want uh, to filter based on it. So I have a, a list which is called regions and which column. So currently the regions, the values are in the title column. So if I press apply, actually uh, the magic happens. Um, as I mentioned, actually this um, values, uh, they can be uh, typed in uh, manually or it can be a lookup and, and then uh, it will be much easier. Um, what's possible in addition is that I can add even an additional a list or document library um, where the filtering can work. So if I have region and contracts, I can add another um, document library or list. Uh, all I need to, to uh, be sure that actually um, this library has the same values uh, that I can filter. So you see here I have uh, the area, which is a lookup. Um, all I need to do is to activate the dynamic, choose the, the column in this list, choose which other list I want to fi filter by, and actually uh, the name of the column. So actually I have here, I will publish it. I have here one list and two document libraries. If I choose uh, north, here it filters one, here it shows two. And actually, um, this is a very smart thing. Um, the reason I think it's good, because I think it's not possible to filter uh, directly on a document library um, we can also check that. Actually, if I add the document library 
I will change this to a uh, one section and I will add a document library uh, from my checking there's no filtering uh, on a page you need to do it on the list so I, I have here the, the views um, by the way all of this can be hidden but I, I don't have any filtering uh, possibilities if I edit this and I want to hide uh, this area I can edit and I have here um, hide uh, command bar now it disappeared so this is about it